Reminds me a lot of um, How to Train Your Dragon. I'm your prince. Everyone hates you. Not your lord. Leave. So today we're going to be showing you a show which is coming back for its highly anticipated final season in April. Ooh. We know viewers are going to comment asking why we're doing this with kids. To those viewers, even though it's not a kids show, it kind of made us wonder what do the kids even know about maybe the most popular TV show of your lifetime? What? I don't know. Okay, I'm so confused about what this show is. This is creepy. Okay, I can already tell this is gonna be creepy. I know death. Oh God. Okay, it's a TV show. Oh, it's Game of Thrones. Oh, it's Game of Thrones. He's got many faces. Game of Thrones! Oh. Wait, Game of Thrones? I look forward to seeing this one. It's ending? I look forward to seeing this one. That's, that's ominous. <laughs> It looks like Pirates of the Caribbean to me. I think it is Pirate of the Caribbean. Everything you did brought you where you are now. My parents don't let me. It's very provocative, they said, so I can't watch it. Where you belong. I have no words for this. But my parents will be excited. What? Oh my god! There's dragons. Reminds me a lot of, um... How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. Our enemy doesn't tire. I don't get the story. Like, where's the, I don't know. Doesn't feel. Oh, okay. Like, this is like history or something. But like, fancier. Wow. Oh, it seemed cool, but I just never got into it. I promise to fight for the living. So fight for the living, so that probably means that they're like fighting the dead, I guess. I intend to keep that promise. I don't know what that promise is, but you, you better keep it. Ooh. Why would they do make it like the dragons are trying to kill everyone? Everyone's just gonna die at the end. Ooh, what was that? I not have known Game of Thrones. I know it's very, let's just say not kid friendly. <laughs> Since most kids probably haven't seen too much of the show, before we talk about it, we wanted to show you some scenes from the actual show. Ah, okay. So when we thought about scenes to show, almost nothing was appropriate for kids to watch. So these clips might seem a little random to you. Okay, so this is gonna be 100% kid approved. <laughs> Ow! What are you doing here? Go away! Your sister. Okay, so we have wooden sword fighting. And who are you, boy? Micah, my lord. He's the butcher's boy. He's my friend. She's a little feisty. A butcher's boy who wants to be a knight, eh? What's wrong with being a knight? Anyone can be a knight. Boy, they just need to train. Pick up your sword, butcher's boy. Let's see how good you are. Oh. She oh, Dirk, that's a fight. He asked me to. I'm your prince. Everyone hates you. Not your lord. Leave. And I said, pick up your sword. It's not a sword, my prince. It's only a stick. And you're not a knight. Dude, grab the stick only and beat the heck out of him. Only a butcher's boy. No. That's Rude! I've heard a lot of people hate him. Stop. That was my lady's sister you were hitting. Do you know that? Stop it. Arya, stay out of this. I won't hurt him. Much. Wow, nerd. Wow, he's a jerk. Everyone hates Joffrey. That's it. That's it. Okay, I basically know the entire show. Everyone hates Joffrey. It was kind of sad because he was bullying him, and he was just a kid, not older than him. I feel like it's really dramatic and stuff. The whole queens and kings and princes. I don't know. Traitors! Oh, there! 
Oh, you blind, dirty fool. You can't insult me. I think um, the prince has lost his marbles. But I don't know if he's ever been cursed with a vicious idiot. Yeah, you can't. I can, I am. Hey, Whoa. Oh, no. that escalated quickly. So you decide to kill them all. Oh, my God. You fool. All because of a war you snuck. You're talking to a king. <laughs> and now I thought. You're talking to a king. <laughs> and now I struck a king. Did my hand fall from my wrist? Wow, he got what was coming to him. Usually on other movies, the king's fight looks right. This king is too prideful and thinks he's all that. You want to protect your people, my lady, I understand. But there's no hiding from this. We have to fight. Oh. And we need to do it together. She's so little. <laughs> Sassy. <laughs> is she... Who is she? How small Montes kept faith with House Stark for a thousand years. No idea what's going on, but yeah, cool. How small Montes kept faith with House Stark for a thousand years. That's Jon Snow, correct. Didn't he die or something and today. then like came back? We will not break faith today. It's the wise kid. I feel like there's a lot of like young people that are in command. Thank you, my lady. How many fighting men can we expect? How is she? Queen, she's like five, but okay. 62. Oh, rip. That's a big rip. 62. We are not a large house, but we're a proud one. And every man from Bear Island fights with the strength of 10 mainlanders. Dude, she's cool. If they're half as ferocious as their lady, the Boltons are doomed. Okay. If I were him, I don't want to be taking commands from like, like a 12 year old or something. That's pretty awesome. I mean, <laughs> At least she's better than Joffrey. Pretty awesome. Even though we're kids, we are vicious. Dragon. Oh my gosh, the dragons. Everyone's like, dragons. Yes, you know, so I kind of wish dragons were real. Yay, it's a dragon. Wait, is that yay or nay? I'm not sure. Oh my God. Ooh, is he going to eat him? Ah, I don't know. Gosh, kind of scary. I think the warrior's gonna fight the dragon now. You better not have a sword and you better not stab it. Because he will kill you in one shot. I know the dra someone's riding the dragon. I mean, there's a person on top. Must mean something. I don't even know what he's thinking. Shouldn't you be running by now? He's awfully brave. <laughs> Don't bite him. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, this is really nerve wracking. Oh, oh my god. Thank God! I think he's trying to make the dragon calm. It's like a dog, but more scaly and more teeth. I think he's lost his mind. Shouldn't she be jumping on the dragon because she, she's on it or saving her? While you're petting the dragon? <laughs> Seriously, he's crazy. It was really good graphics, especially like the whole like mouth area and stuff. Like, like that was that actually did look pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I might want to watch it, but my parents will probably <laughs> Now let me watch it. What do you think Game of Thrones is about? It's about like they're trying to stop this guy from destroying their land and it's always about they're destroying their land and they try to fight to fix what's right and at the end it's a happy ending. Aww. Cute. So prior to today, how familiar were you with Game of Thrones? I only knew the name. I didn't know anything about it. I knew it existed. I thought it was a video game. I didn't know it was a show. I knew some of the big plot points, but I definitely didn't know any of like the things that like you have to watch the show to know. So Game of Thrones has won more Emmys than any other drama series and is called the most talked about show on television. So when it comes to Game of Thrones or any other show, video, or movie as a kid, is it annoying when there's something you're told that you can't watch but everybody's talking about it? I mean, realistically, if I'm told to not watch it, I just don't watch it. I trust these people. They said not to watch it. 
I'm keeping my innocence. That's what I feel like for Fortnite. I feel like all my friends are playing it, but I'm not allowed to. It's kind of annoying. I was like, I was like, hey, have you seen the show? I'm like, no. And they're like, well, you should watch it. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go watch it. I'm like, well, haha, you can't. I'm like, oh. Actually, right now, my parents are watching The Handmaid's Tale. And every, it's like every night they're watching it, and I'm, I'm in the living room. And they're all of a sudden, chop, chop, go to your room. You can't watch Handmaid's Tale. Some things I really want to watch, but my mom doesn't let me. Russell Maniac, and um, my mom doesn't like it because um, when they fight, they do weird things. It is pretty annoying. Everyone says it's really good, and they keep yakking away and I can't do anything about it because I get in trouble. You get, you know, like kind of upset and cur really curious and kind of like, you know, a little bit upset that, oh my, I'm just young and I'm, everybody's talking about it and I can't watch it. How does it work in your house when your parents are watching something that they don't want you to see? They just tell me to go behind the couch and eat my food. They let me watch it, but then I'm the one asking questions, like I'm the annoying person. For Bird Box, I gotta sit and watch it with them, but half of the movie, they kinda close my eyes. My mom will probably just like pause it and be like, Sydney, you can't watch this. And I'll be like, can I though? And she's like, no. And then I'm like, fine. And then I like go into the kitchen and eat food. I'm like, please, please, can I watch with you? And then sometimes they say yes, sometimes they say no, and sometimes they say, after you read a book. They like send me to my room and if I come down for something, they like immediately switch it to something else and then, they, and then when I leave, they switch it back. How do I know this? I've heard it. So a lot of people would argue that it's pretty hard in today's day and age to keep kids from seeing inappropriate shows or videos because of social media and you're able to look it up on your phone or your computer. So be honest with us. Have you ever watched something that you weren't supposed to? Yes, but it was just a YouTube video, so I mean, yeah. <laughs> yes. It involved crazy, a crazy scientist and a 14-year-old boy, and it involved a lot of pickles. I think you know what show I'm talking about. No, I wouldn't say so. Because like, if I ever watch something like that, it's usually with my parents. I've seen my friends attempt to do it. I'm like, really? You're really gonna do this? You realize your parents are doing this for your best interest. I trust my family. It's like, they tell me not to watch something, I won't watch it. So back to Game of Thrones, people have estimated that Game of Thrones has shown well over 100,000 deaths in the seven seasons that has aired. Wow. I don't like to see people die because it makes me cry. Like when I was watching Once Upon a Time, I was crying every single episode. Popular characters die all the time. There's zombie-like creatures called White Walkers, which kill people and turn them into zombies. There's also a lot of inappropriate romantic parts in almost every episode too. Kids, this is why you don't watch inappropriate stuff. However, the show is also about family, good versus evil, and how hard it can be to tell good from evil. So does this sound like a good show to you, even with all the deaths and violence? Yeah. <laughs> Besides all the inappropriate romantic stuff, I would say it would be a good show for me to watch. They would probably watch it, and it would teach a lesson of good versus evil, stuff like that. Because like sometimes the good guy can feel like a good guy, but can really be the bad guy. It just reflects back on a world, how the world itself can be dark. And sometimes like TV shows can just not, you know, not be afraid to show that, you know, the world is dark. Game of Thrones is filled with death and incest. And that's just the show. And there's nothing we can do about it. If that's how the people who make the show want it to be, you do your thing. People like it and people watch it. Finally, what is your advice to parents out there when there are shows that they think are inappropriate for kids, but they want to watch it. How do you think that the parents should approach that situation? First, I think they should wait um, till their, their kids asleep. The parents should just tell them that there are a lot of other good shows, or good fam family-friendly kid shows that, that are appropriate for them. Your best bet is to A, do you do it like on some date night? Or B, tell them that it's inappropriate. We really want to watch it, so we're gonna have our like parent movie night and you guys could have your kid moving night downstairs in the living room. If your kids walk in and you're watching it, just tell it, like, pause it and just be like, you can't watch this, I'm sorry. Then like, if they don't understand, then like, 
Make them watch it. Be like, okay, this is what I'm watching. And your kids probably don't want to watch that either. Thanks for watching this episode of Kids React. Shout out to Calvin Beast 3 Subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. Goodbye. Hey guys, I'm Sierra, producer here at FBE. Check us out on Twitter for staff and reactor Q&As, company news, and more. Follow us at FBE. Bye guys.